Hey folks, out here today fishing the new Daiwa Tatula Elite Series long cast reel. I mean, I'm here at a crystal clear lake. I need to make really long casts and I'm gonna be fishing the Whopper Plopper 75 with the fat belly on it. Let's go have some fun. Oh, there's a big one like that. He freaking ate it. Oh, when they eat that Whopper Plopper 75, gosh, they crush it. He is as big as I thought he was, but boy, did he freaking eat it. <laughs> the way you like him to eat it, look at thing sideways in his mouth. Kind of fished around a little bit, not really getting bites, saw a lot of fish, and realized that I've got to make really long casts when I'm out here in this gin crystal clear water. And probably also, this lake's pressured. You know, I see lots of kayaks, I see people walking around the bank, and so when you get pressured lakes like this, you've got to be able to fish a little further away from your boat, and so they really don't see you. Oh, there he is. That's a big one. That one tracked it for a long ways. So, the Mag Force Z is the braking system the Daiwa's had for many years. They re-engineered it to match for the long distance casting. So you can make those further casts. And once again, as you guys can see out here, this crystal clear water, you've got to be able to make further casts. And so now that it's re-engineered, it's basically a zero touch on this side here, and the only control you need is the Mag4Z, depending on the line size, the weight of the bait, those things like that to maximize your casting distance. Oh, there he is. Catch him, count it, up to him. I can see that shade. <laughs> from a long ways away, and he's running at me. Oh, gosh. Mm. That's a good one, look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Got him, look at that thing. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> Grass, bass, and Whopper Flopper 75. So there's a combination of everything that goes into this reel. We're talking about the Mag Force Z, the T-Wing system, the new redesigned engineered reel for long distance casting to allow you to catch studs just like that one. So I'm super excited about this new Tatula Elite Series reel. Reason is, is you see how far that shade is away, and I mean, it's far away. You get too close to it, you're gonna spook the fish. So you gotta be able to make really long casts like that to put yourself in position to get that bite. And with a hundred size reel, we're talking, you know, minimalist effort for casting, great palming, you know, reduction of fatigue during the course of a day when you're out there fishing. That's why I'm extremely excited about this reel. You know, whether I need to make short distance pitches, obviously I can do that. But then there's gonna be those times, you know, you guys have come in to schooling situations or you see something across the cove, like that point over there, that you wanna make a really long cast to, to getting bit, you know? Those are the things that are gonna allow me to cover a lot more water effectively and to getting just one or two more strikes you know in a tournament completely changes up your tournament you know how many times have you wasted time trolling out to something dark spot that you see out there in the middle now you're going to be able to make that long cast to it and fish it without having 
the trolling motor over there and getting off your trail. Another nice one. The rod that I'm using is Bryn Ayler 7.4 bladed jig cranking rod. You know, anytime I'm towing a topwater, I really like this rod. It's a composite fiberglass rod that allows the fish to eat the bait and actually get hooked before you feel them. And when you're making these really long casts, it just seems to get the hook in them too because of the length, that's 7.4 inches. Um, it's the perfect, the Tattoo Elite Series Bryn Ayler cranking bladed jig rod. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, he smoked it. He ain't that big. God, he smoked it like he was a big one. Oh, <laughs> he's a lot, he's a lot smaller than I thought he was. But in this situation, folks, the line that I've been using is 15 pound maximum fluorocarbon. I'm usually not big on fluorocarbon, you know, when I'm throwing topwater baits, uh, just because it has a sinking factor to it. So you have to hold the rod up high, but in this clear water, it just gives me that extra little confidence. So the 15 pound maximum fluorocarbon has been getting the job done today. There he is, biggin. That's a biggin. Look at that thing there. Oh my goodness. That's a biggin. See how far that shade was out? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's how we like it right there. Right equipment, right time, right place. Oh boy. One hook in him. Hooking, hopefully. Oh, we had another, we had another hook in him. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah. him. Look at that thing right there. Whopper Plopper 75. Beta choice today. You know, gin crystal clear water. Fish are a little skittish. You got to have the Tatula Elite Series reel for making those long distance casts, teamed up with a Tatula Elite Series rod. You know, you're going to have the right bait, the right equipment at the right time. Check this out, folks. I'm going to have to show you this. The crawdad that's the size of that claw that's in the back of his mouth. Look at that thing there. It's a big old crawdad in his belly. There, I can actually feel it. We're going to let this big one go. What a way to end the day. Folks, make sure you get yourself the River to Sea Whopper Flopper 75 and enter the gear giveaway and check back next week for more.